Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. I'm in my car now. I've been out off work for a couple of days on half term, and I'm to be honest with you, I've not really done much. I've just been trying to do a bit of work, which is a bit sad. Um, so I sat down, planning some lessons. I got a bit fed up, so I thought, let me go out for a break. Um, I sit in my car, listen to some music, some random music on radio too. So, where am I going? I'm going to go to McDonald's. Let me explain why. Uh, last week when I was in school, I was doing a lesson all about composite meals. Now, what is a composite meal or a composite dish? A composite meal or a composite dish is a dish or meal made up of foods from different parts of the Eat World Guide. What's an Eat World Guide? Well, an Eat World Guide is uh, a set of guidelines set up, put out by the government which is designed like a, a bit of a pie chart and it gives you an indication of what ratio and types of foods you should eat that would constitute a balanced diet. So for example, on the Eat Well Guide, just over one third of our food, according to the Eat Well Guide, should come from uh, fruit and veg section. Uh, just under one third of our food should come from the starchy carb section, potatoes, rice, etc. Um, a sm much smaller section comes from protein, and a small section comes from uh, dairy and dairy alternatives, with a very small section coming from fats. That's the Eat Well Guide. Um, so, whilst we're learning this in class, I play a game called Last Man Standing, or Last Person Standing, to be more politically correct. And it's a simple game, uh, all the kids stand up, and, they're given th and then we go around one by one, and on the pressure of three second time limit, they have to name a composite food, which is quite easy, in a sense, uh, at least to begin with, because almost everything we eat is a composite meal. So we start off, we can say spaghetti bolognese, which is great, because pasta comes from the starchy calves, the meat comes from the protein section, the tomato comes from the fruit and veg section, etc. You get the idea. Some people say pizza, some people say a bacon sandwich, or lettuce sandwich, or whatever. Which is pretty good to begin with, but as it goes around a few times, kids start getting desperate, because all the dishes they, they can think of are all gone. So we're going around, we're on about round three, kids are doing way better than I thought they would. And one kid, under pressure, says, fries and ice cream and I said load of rubbish no one since the beginning of time has ever eaten fries and ice cream as a legit meal and all these little kids piped up and said yes we eat all the time it's a proper meal no I swear down it's really nice you're just old you don't know what you're talking about so it's like what you're telling me that fries and ice cream is is a legit meal and they're like yeah it is and all these kids put their hand up and said they, they, they eaten they've either eaten or eat fries and ice cream and it's well nice I was like please stop this nonsense no one's eating fries and ice cream as a dish but apparently according to all these little kids they do now just to confirm that they weren't blagging me I played the same game with another bunch of year eights and at the end of them I asked them about, about this dish and they said yeah yeah it's well nice you can also have fries and milkshake and I was like please but they were adamant that it was a legit meal so I said okay do you know what before I disparage something I haven't tried myself, I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm on my way to McDonald's, and I'm going to order a small order of fries, because I'm not that hungry, and the smallest order of ice cream that they have, because I'm a little bit allergic to ice cream, and if my wife sees me watching, uh, eating a bit of ice cream, she might get a little bit angry with me, because I'm, an, I'm a little bit allergic, but I only have a little bit of it. So I'm gonna go to McDonald's, I'm gonna to the drive-thru, and I'm gonna order me some fries, and a small ice cream, not quite sure what flavour yet because I don't know what they have. They've never ordered ice cream from McDonald's before. And then you're going to get my first hand, real, legit response to whether or not fries and ice cream can be considered a legit composite meal. We shall see. There's a sign for the Golden Arches. Okay, McDonald's. Let's see if this thing is for real. Let's do it. Things I do for kids, eh? Science. Let's see what we've got. Hi, uh, do you have ice cream? Uh, yeah. What kind of ice cream do you have? Uh, the McFlurries or all of them. Oh, uh, sorry, what? McFlurries or just like the cones and stuff. Uh, McFlurry. Uh, so you got Maltesers, Smarties, Oreo, Wonderful, and Caramel Galaxy. Uh, Maltesers. Repeat them again. Maltesers. 
Galaxy. Uh, can I have a, can I have a, do they come in different sizes? Uh, yeah, all mini and normal. Can I have a mini uh, Oreos one? Yeah. With a portion of fries. And what, sorry? A portion of fries. Yeah, and if no? That's it, thanks. Yeah, just wanted to investigate you first, there. Thank you. All right, cheers. Thank you. All right. I'm very excited. Is it done? All right. Right. Let's do it. This is real. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, cheers. You too. Right. This is real legit consumerism. Alright, I'm going to pull up right here. Right, so, I need to concentrate, so, say grace, good love me and for good food, amen, well, it's all good food, amen, alright, no, fries I've eaten before, I like fries, don't eat, don't eat very often, not really a general eater of junk food, but it's a treat. So, ice cream, fries, dessert, can't think of a snack or part of a main. The remix, in my brain and my world, absolutely not. That's nonsense. However, in 12 or 13 year old world, this is a, apparently a legitimate meal. So, Let's do it. Two ways of doing it. I'm going to take one of my chips. I'm going to dip it first of all inside the ice cream. And let's start with that. Couldn't taste much in it there. Try again. Try and get a big bit of ice cream. Right, there you go. Big bit of ice cream, a little bit of Oreo on my chip. Can't really say um, it's making sense to me yet, but I'll, I'll be a bit more adventurous. Okay, ice cream. Chip. This is still nonsense. I will persist. I'll get a big, big bit of ice cream now on a chip. All right, here we go. That's a big bit of ice cream on the chip. Here you go. Kids, you're blagging me. This is nonsense. Ice cream. No. I'm not having it. This is not a legit meal combination. This is nonsense. All right, as you can see now, that's a proper big bit of ice cream on a chip. I'm really trying to give it a good go. Okay, get into my most, my most um, critical sort of frame of mind. And still no, kids. You're talking rubbish. Ice cream and fries, load of rubbish. Not a legit meal. Next time I play that game, you ain't getting no points of me for this combination. This is not a legit meal. Ice cream and fries, two foods. That should be kept apart. There you go. Ice cream and fries is not a legit meal. If you think otherwise, 
leave the comments leave your comments in the comment section below let me see if you think the ice cream and fries is a legit meal combination i think not <laughs>